Nebraska's longest serving governor leaves office in less than a month. Dave Heineman will also leave Lincoln, moving back to his home in Fremont. Tonight, candid comments from the governor and First Lady Sally Gannum. They sit down with KATV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki, talking about the future while reflecting on the past. I so swear. It was his dream job, taking over from Mike Johans, who left to become Secretary of Agriculture in January of 2005, winning election, then re election in landslide fashion. Steering the state over the past decade to historic job growth, the largest tax cuts, and a record cash reserve. Even as the national economy went through one of its worst downturns since the Great Depression. Now, one of the biggest challenges driving Dave Heineman relearning how to drive. It's been 10 years without driving because, uh, you know, the troopers take you everywhere. Now, I've gone out and practiced a little bit in the last month or so, but I've got a lot more work to do. Uh, I, I think my family is nervous. They don't want to be out when I'm out. In an interview with KTV News Watch 7, the governor and first lady Sally Gannum talked candidly about their legacy. Uh, you know, I'm proud of the fact I can say economically and educationally, we're stronger today than we were a decade ago. One of the few states that didn't cut money to education. That actually increased real money to education. Of course, I always say it's never enough. They talked about their future. I know that, you know, maybe for a week or so we can take it easy, and then by then uh, we're going to have to figure out, okay, what are we going to do now? On the other hand, we'll be able to be more spontaneous, and when friends invite us over, we'll be able to say, well, yes, we, we can just drop over. And responded to criticism like problems exposed in the Department of Health and Human Services and corrections under Heinemann's watch. We provided the leadership that said, okay, I accept the responsibility. The buck stops at my desk. We've made most of the corrections. There's still going to be work to do for the new uh, legislature. The worst days on the job, seeing two of his lieutenant governors Please forced to resign me. amid scandal. I wish you well. It really impacted. The governor just emotionally, and I saw him just drained. They will miss the interaction with Nebraskans, showing off the mansion to visitors. This is a happy place. It's a warm place. It's very inviting. The first lady, a former principal and teacher, will continue a final project to create a virtual tour of the mansion. She's already raised four hundred thousand dollars for the project, so that teachers can just download them and use them in teaching Nebraska history. Heineman will likely leave office with one of the highest approval rates ever. But there is one family member who is still more popular. The biggest challenge is going to be for our dog Snickers. He's never known another house except for here. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, <laughs> KETV, News Watch 7. You good work, man. You good work. Also worth noting, Governor Heineman signed 2,050 bills into law during his 10 years in office. You're going to hear much more from the governor a week from Sunday. We'll sit down with him for an hour long edition of Chronicle, airing December 21st from noon to 1.